Hey art lovers, what's going on today? My name is Tathagata. Today I'm going to paint and draw a beautiful, beautiful, lovely, lovely dog. Dog is such an animal which is the most cute and really spreads out nice vibes while they are at home. Uh, I used to have a German Shepherd and uh, I never felt boring, uh, you know, with that dog. He was so entertaining. Uh, I had to give up because my wife has picked up some uh, rashes, infections. So yeah, that's a sad story. In this video, I'm going to keep some important tips, which I will keep saying in my voiceover. And uh, guys, please don't skip the video. This is my only request. You would like it and you are going to take away something from this video. And what I have also noted, very, very experienced artists also sometimes they miss these kind of small small techniques like uh, for example highlights and highlights uh, the highest highlights cannot be more than two points today is a sunday morning guys i haven't slept throughout the night i've been painting editing doing everything but in the morning i didn't miss my gym yeah that's something i'm very proud of but uh, anyway guys this is not a fitness channel my last video actually people have really recognized me and i'm very happy with the result go and check it should be somewhere so anyways have fun with this video As you all know, I always do the freestyle method in order to do the outline and uh, you can use grid line which is the easiest if you are a beginner you don't know where to start and you can use it with the help of obviously the compass so it's called also compass method and compass method sometimes you don't even need to use the grid line. I always encourage you to do the background first you can do the background uh, and you can complete the background with all the layers keep the paint inside the outline little bit while you are painting the uh, near the outline of the subject if the background is short of the outline then you cannot change the outline of the subject but again you have to do the background to adjust it and again it's a waste of time and waste of paint and it's it's very irritating to be honest for me uh, any subject if you are drawing uh, maybe you are doing wildlife maybe you are doing portrait maybe with you are doing a figure drawing always you should uh, start with the darkest area so i'm focusing on the darkest area of this dog so guys let me remind you i have done previous painting of puppies as you can see in the picture so where i always have maintained the this thing that background i have done really well and then i have come into uh, foreground but in the foreground uh, uh, after doing the foreground if you really need to do the background you can do it uh, you can give some touch up but always try to finish the background uh, some of my previous painting of a dog which was almost immediately sold as soon as I done I have done it so I, I was very proud of because uh, you know dog is something uh, which is very helpful uh, for you to learn uh, learn to draw animal and also it is very demanding so compared to that i have seen i have drawn deer i have drawn uh, dolphin i have draw, drawn a tiger uh, i have drawn leopard but it it was not that demanding as uh, as much as dog if you are uh, painting to sell so Please remember, dog is the top of that chain. If you are a beginner, then I always would suggest that 
go for the darkest then second darkest then third darkest and then go for the brightest color uh, not brightest second brightest color and then leave the brightest color uh, for the final touch up and that brightest color should not be more than two points guys I am going layer by layer here because I am very careful that uh, what I am painting is this dog is around 4 years old so that this is uh, in between a puppy and a, an, a, an adult dog. The fur is very very soft it doesn't look like an old dog uh, and it is uh, the hairs are still growing and a very young dog guys so uh, if you see the finish guys you will understand that this is not a grown dog so it is very important to uh, understand in which age, age how the farts look like and also guys as you can see whatever I am doing the shading everything I am always being very careful about the uh, length of the far and in which direction the far is going and in that direction I am actually uh, moving my brush everything uh, starting from the pencil my mechanical pencil uh, till uh, my chisel or my 2 inch brush everything I have uh, included in my description box you can use that link to view those uh, you know products also even you can buy this uh, there are affiliate links and if you want to go to the shop and buy and uh, please at least check the those links and understand which uh, of the products which I use if you are a beginner and then go and you know demand for that same product in the shop if and if you like you continue doing that And guys, if uh, my petro and guys, my patrons and um, and others who have recently joined in my channel, uh, please do contact me if you, and feel free to contact me if you want more information uh, of you know of my material. If you have any queries, so please you can also comment below uh, in the comment section. And also you can you know email drop an email to me and of course if you are interested in buying some of my painting uh, then you can contact me we can have a chat and uh, yeah and of course you if you really admire or want to even buy my painting then you can um, you know contact me in my gmail address which I have given in the screen To have a smooth transition at the end, always go back and forth with the with the different values of color. So it is very important because you are 
painting in acrylic which is uh, not so good in mixing but you have to manage to make it look like an oil painting uh, with a smooth transition so always go back and forth and keep changing your values and and go little by little and always I would suggest whenever you are doing this after three layers or four layers after blocking the canvas you always choose uh, or uh, break down your painting into th three sections in your mind and that three section you should individually attempt to finish that within a time frame that's what I do otherwise I get carried on and sometimes I lost my way uh, now what to do so you should go one by one by one One thing, uh, the lighting is very important. Uh, in my studio, I have photo light and I have four other, uh, you know, very bright light. Where uh, otherwise, what happens is the the different values and the slight differences of the values will not be uh, noticed by you, which is again a very fatal for the result of this painting. and guys always while you are painting especially the animal with far you should not have hard edges around the around the outline so always try to make a, a very smooth effect otherwise it will look like uh, like a cartoon basically the edges of cartoon is very hard that's why it looks like a cartoon so don't uh, you know make your all the effort wasted uh, i will soon make a video on this that how to choose a reference photo uh, reference photo one of the criteria is should have the darkest point and the brightest point so that darkest will complement the bright brightest and the brightest will complement the darkest for example this uh, reference photo I have chosen where I have extreme dark you can see near the leg uh, I have extreme bright also uh, near the nose that far and also the, the far which is in between the leg. I always would suggest to take a photograph after full la fourth layer and um, uh, turn them into black and white picture uh, go to the edit, sec edit section I'm sure you know how to do it and then you will understand the value whether it's the right value or where you need to make a change make a note I always do that I uh, use my marker in the mobile and I point them out and then I again fix it then you go for the finishing guys it takes a hell lot of effort to make a video to do editing everything guys I would appreciate you if you can you know subscribe my channel guys only if you like subscribe otherwise I recommend not to subscribe or some part if some of the part is uh, really not helping you can skip that as well
offer if you are new to my channel consider a subscribe and uh, as always take care have a have a beautiful life and paint well or thank you for supporting peace out